Hello everybody, today is November 2nd, 2015. Thanks for joining me today on the Moneybag 73 channel. So, Obama wins debt ceiling increase to end of presidency. So Obama wins and you and I lose. I'm going to be doing a video soon on the national debt. I've probably done about four or five in the last five years as it's been increasing. And I'm doing some research now. And I wanted to do a quick video because I came across something while I was doing my research that just totally blew me away. So I wanted to share that with you here. So today, as a matter of fact, Obama is signing the new ceiling increase, which is going to take us up towards $20 trillion by the end of his presidency. So... This is a letter, claims about Obama and national debt are lies, all lies. Actually, <laughs> the claims about the national debt and Obama is actually the truth, but that gets twisted here by Douglas Bauman because he he's either, well, let's just say, I'm sure he knows what's going on, but you can see here what he's writing and how things get twisted. You see, most Americans, they don't know the difference between debt and deficit. These get twisted around by politicians. They twist this saying that, well, the deficit's falling. So a lot of Americans think, well, the debt is falling. No, the debt is continuously increasing. Now, after the 2008 crash, the deficits went through the roof. And that's when Obama was handed this horrible economy and in the huge deficit. And it's, it's been going down. So he's, you know, he comes out saying, well, I've decreased the deficit and cut it in half. Well, that's true. We, instead of overspending by a trillion dollars a year, you know, we're overspending by 500 billion. So yes, the deficits have been falling the last few years. They've been falling under Obama. However, let's get into this here. Lies are the last refuge of a lost argument. It's telling that pundits who loudly proclaim the failure of President Obama's economic policies tell and retell heaps of lies. One of the most outrageous and oft-repeated lies is that President Obama is responsible for an unprecedented growth in our national debt. It is a lie, and the people spreading it know it's a lie. The facts are, okay, here's, <laughs> here's Douglas's facts. The facts are that President Obama has our nation on track to eliminate the deficit by 2017. Great. I don't see that happening. If it did happen, that means that by 2017, we'd be living within our means. Okay? So you have to spend a trillion every year and then narrow it down. And then finally, you're able to live within your means after you just racked up 20 trillion in debt. I mean, what what good is that anyhow? So, okay, so this is in spite of a colossal deficit he inherited by Bush, which is true. There, there's a little truth there. The 2008 budget plan responsible for creating a huge increase in our national debt was designed by the Bush administration. Now, let's not forget, we got to point fingers here because this is part of, all this twisting that goes on where people think that one party's good and the other party's bad. You know, we live in a two party dictatorship and anyone who doesn't see that, I just ignore them. I mean, if they're going to say that this party's, you know, tried to do this and the other party that and uh, just all a bunch of bullshit. And I'm so sick of it pointing the fingers. This party's good. That party's bad. No, we're at $18.1 trillion current national debt. It goes beyond 100 trillion with unfunded liabilities from Social Security and Medicare. So, so here we have the 2008 budget plan. He's saying was responsible for taking the deficit so high. And then Obama's first allowed budget proposal was in 2010 with trillion dollar deficits. And that's when things started looking up. 
because the deficit was so high, then it started falling. So President Obama, together with Democratic members of Congress, you know, because the Democrats are trying to fix the country and they're what's good for the country, including our own Tim Waltz, have made incredible strides in bringing the deficit back to manageable levels. I think, you know, so it's 400 billion overspent now. We're down to 400 billion. That's manageable. You know, we just spend 400 billion more than, than we have. Uh, since President Obama took office, the national deficit has been cut in half. That's true. He was handed trillion dollars a year overspending, and it's down to like 500 billion, 400 billion. So it has cut in half. Nowhere here does it mention the national debt. The title, claims about Obama and national debt are lies. Okay, well, the whole time he talked about the deficit. <laughs> There's nowhere here does it talk about the national debt. This is the twisting that I'm talking about. So people, he says national debt in the title, and then it's all about the deficit, which is a whole different thing. So since President Obama, okay. Oh, man. This just gets me so pissed off. I, I'm trying to put together a good national debt video, trying to explain the situation. There's people who say it doesn't matter. You know, it's just a fictitious, like Mike Norman. <laughs> it's just fictitious. It doesn't even matter. We, you know, we can always pay it. We have a printing press. We can always pay it. Yeah, like that has no ramifications. The Republicans, the self-called party of fiscal conservatives, all right, let's... Uh, Give them a little hit on the chin there. They're supposed to be conservative and they're big spenders. Uh, not like Obama has just been decreasing the deficits <laughs> as he doubles the national debt. But we're not going to mention that here in this article. Abetted the Bush squandering our national treasury. Those same Republicans, those same bad guys, with help from their Tea Party radicals, attempted to block the president's budget, said every turn. They just wanted to ruin the country and they're trying to stop everything. In spite of that, President Obama has worked diligently to restore our economy with the help of four trillion printed or three and a half trillion printed by the private Federal Reserve. But we're not going to mention that either. And, you know, <laughs> that helps out a lot when you pump up the stock market and you're using three trillion dollars of freshly created nothings, which, you know, appear to be something now. But let's just wait until the future. Uh, our, I'm proud of his success and grateful for his work. Wow, that's just so nice and warm and cuddly if you're a Democrat and you look at the negative, you know, the bad, evil other party over there. I mean, this just makes me sick. It makes me want to puke. Okay, so over here, uh, this is, let me try and zoom in on this a little bit here. I'm sure you can't really see it. August 4th, 2014, so a year ago, but it doesn't matter. Obama's added almost a eight trillion to the national debt. We'll say eight and a half now, uh, maybe eight point three or four. Flashback: Obama attacked Bush. This is what I'm going to definitely put in the video I'm about to make because this is so telling right here. I'll play this clip. I'll end this with this. Um, but here you go. I mean, this we're going to be at twenty trillion. I don't want to give too much information because I want to do that other big video I'm trying to put together. I always want to do big productions, which I just can't do what I want to do because of copyright. Um, I, I just wish I could put together some videos like I see, but I'm, I'll put together the best I can do, everybody. Uh, so here we go. You know, the only reason this is sustainable, because if you look... I want to show you the graph now. I, I'll just bring it up. I think I have it up here with my research. Here you go. This is why it's sustainable. See this, 1980, when the national debt was uh, 900 billion. Uh, President Reagan took office. Okay, here's the. Uh, here's what's happened to the interest rates, everybody. I wonder why this won't increase in size. Anyway, you get you get the scope of it. We're down here on the 10-year at 2.1. Uh, so. It's just falling rates. Now, that's why the interest is sustainable. It's $400 billion interest payment right now. If we were back here, you know, it'd be a trillion dollars. So if interest rates are going to rise, we're going to have a trillion dollar interest payment. It's just not going to work. I think we're, we got, I've been saying it for a couple of years now. We have negative interest rates coming. Negative. In order to sustain this incredible 
debt. It's just everything is all debt. Money's debt. Uh, national debt is increasing and there's going to be ramifications for that. I hope you're preparing. Uh, I'm preparing the best way I know how. It's holding real money for thousands of years. And that's all we can really do. Uh, we can't reverse this. I mean, it's just going to... The, the writing is on the wall. I've been doing videos, 500 videos. I've been doing videos for years. I wish I could still do as many as I used to. Very busy now. Things have changed. I'm out there. I'm uh, driving for Uber. I'm doing a few other things. Help my wife with her small business. I mean, just very busy. I, I go back and look at all the videos I used to do. I wish I could still do that many, but don't worry. I still got more videos coming. This is getting so clear as time goes on not to take away from the fact that i'll take full responsibility for making the mistake of thinking we we're gonna have huge inflation when the fed started printing like crazy with having two trillion on the books the banks that hasn't been thrown out into the economy they were able to increase the money the monetary base without huge inflation because we have a world that's deflating and I didn't see that, as along with a lot of other people, I didn't see them being able to do that. Well, they, they were able to do it, and they could do it much longer. But eventually, we're going to get to a point where all hell breaks loose. And there's not much more we can do but, you know, have the Mad Max preparations, the food supply and guns and ammo and all that. But real money is so important. As all this plays out so that's it for now I'll uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll come up without the other video um, if not maybe a few days afterwards thanks for watching hope everyone's doing well please leave comments down below I really miss talking to people in the comments section that's something I miss the most about not being able to do so many videos please leave comments and I will talk oh wait ah sorry <laughs> I almost missed it I switched over that Graph wasn't going to show everyone. You got to see this. I'm sure some of you have seen it. This is my one of my favorite clips. I've shown it before. Let me show it again and we'll end this now. So that we now have over $9 trillion of debt that, that we are going to have to pay back. $30,000 for every man, woman, and child. That's irresponsible. It's unpatriotic. Yeah, so he took office. It was ten point nine trillion national the debt. Is, is that and you know he, he says that Bush added you know like five trillion to the national debt. Well, he's added eight under his presidency, but that doesn't matter because he's cut the deficit in half, right? <laughs> oh man, politics, freaking craziness.